Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm here today to share with you the yumminess that's on my desk. And I have been using my favorite trim from Angel Dream Crafts to make tassels or, you know, dangles, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> because this trim makes the best tassel. I mean, just like that, and boom, you have an adorable tassel. So I used that trim and some eyelash trim and some pearl strands and some of them have also rhinestone cup chain and rhinestone cup chain is also available at Angel Dream Crafts. But I just put them together and then I just dangled them off of stuff. So here's a little embellishment I created. And then these are flowers and I just added them <laughs> to the flowers and aren't they beautiful? I absolutely, I love how these turned out. They're so cute. And that just makes the yummiest, yummiest tassel that trim. So there is a link to Kim's shop below. Um, so you can go over and get you some of that. Oh, here's another one of the embellishments I created just with this hanging off the bottom. How yummy is that? So make sure you follow the links and go check out the store. But I know that some people get, um, a little intimidated by uh, making tassels but I wanted to show you just how easy it is to make them and then how yummy they look so I did a little tutorial for you so I hope you enjoy it so I began by using um, picking out the trims I wanted to use and I am using this eyelash trim and um, I cut the eyelash trim about 12 inches long so I could have about a six inch dangle and I'm using the eyelash trim to tie my tassel together. So then I'm just laying the other strips across uh, whatever I'm using for a tie. Of course, you could just use lace or you could use um, torn pieces of fabric. I mean, you can make these as shabby as you want. So I varied the lengths of the things I'm putting in my tassel. So you can see they're all different lengths. Now, when you use this lace, you don't have to use as much because the dangles will make it longer than it actually is. So it's a short piece, but when I tie it together, you'll see that it's it all hangs very nicely. And you simply tie it together. They're that easy. Boom, you're done. So you can whip out a bunch of tassels, which, which is what I did um, when I was off that day. And now it's ready. Simply tie it together and it's ready. So I made some of those a little long, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim a couple of those off. But I mean, these are just so pretty. I, lo I love to stick them on everything. It's ridiculous. <laughs> They're just fun. They are fun. But now you can, you know, shake it up, fluff it up, uh, flip the things around so, you know, you get a better placement, which is what I tried doing here. And then I didn't like that. So then I flip it back the other way. <laughs> They're just fun to play with. But now they're ready to stick on anything. Anything. So, um... You know, I hope that you give these a try. They're super fun. They're so cute. And look at how great they look. Just at the bottom of flowers or embellishments or on actual projects. They're super, super cute. So there is a link below to um, the shop that has that beautiful lace. <laughs> so go get you some. And please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all on the next one. Thanks, everybody.